and welcome to the fat show if this is the first time you're tuning in please don't get offended the fat show is simply the fit all the time show and the goal here is to get you functional on this week's episode of the program i'm going to be doing some exercises that would need a little bit of assistance but hey be not afraid this will not break the bank for you to get fit I'm going to be introducing you to two of my friends who have been with me for a long time and quite frankly are as responsible for my awesome physique as I am. Yes, I am awesome. These are my friends. We have been together for so long, we're on a first name basis. This is ab baby and this is chest baby. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing with this today is showing you that with a little help, you can actually get that functional body that you're so desirous to have. Who goes first? Any, any, my name. Ladies first. Now this, it's called the ab ruler. It's very cheap. You could buy this for under 10,000 naira anywhere in Nigeria. Anywhere and any sports shop in Nigeria. It simply helps you get your abs all freshed up. If you're interested in that six pack, you've been running like Forrest, running, and you still haven't seen them. The moment this comes into your life, there'll be clarity. I'm going to demonstrate how to use the ab ruler and I would recommend it to anybody out there who would like to get their abs popping. Why are your abs so important? Quite frankly, I should tell you this real quick. Your abs affect everything you do. Whether you're bending down, standing up, sitting on a chair, jumping, lifting, stretching, your abs, this region, the core right here is involved in every single motion that you carry out as a human being. So it is very necessary that they have the strength needed to lead you through your entire day. And quite frankly, I'm standing throughout today's episode, so my abs are kind of working, you know? Or like every other muscle of your body that goes to sleep, if your hands go into your pocket, your shoulders are resting. If you fold your arms, shoulders are resting. If you sit down, legs are resting. Your abs, meanwhile, work all the day, all the day long. So why not take care of them? Get the abrola today. This is the first exercise. You need some clear space around you and your abrola. I'll demonstrate so that you can get it and use it. Now, you go down to the ground, knees like so, you know, kneeling. If the ground is too hard for you, please be sure to find something comfortable that you can put underneath your knees, say maybe a towel or uh, one of those rubber slippers. We like to call them bathroom slippers in Nigeria. So that'll be useful for ensuring that your knees don't peel anytime soon. Now, the ab roller stays just under your shoulders. Um, I like to keep my legs crossed and off the ground. That is primarily because it gives, I put a lot more pressure on my stomach than anything else. But if you can't do that, please keep your toes on the ground. No, you crying. Okay, so the ab roller stays underneath your shoulders and then you lean your body weight forward and run with it, like this. Run, you pull back. Now, when you get straight out here, don't let your chest touch the ground. Two. Three. Four. And five. As always, I'd advise that you take your time with the exercises, especially the ab roller. And that's primarily because the possibility of you getting an injury if you rush it is quite high. If you don't have that strength or that endurance in your core to push out and come back in, there's every possibility that you lose your grip and then your pretty jaw goes into the floor. Then you have to visit the dentist to get yourself a uh, custom made pair of teeth and we wouldn't like that would we so please take your time with the ab roller okay the motions are very simple take your time getting it done and if you cannot pull back you may take the bow okay and that's what i mean is very simple if at the time you extend all the way forward and your body can't pull you back up gently go to the ground it's not a crime Nobody's going to beat you for doing that, okay? All right, so, ab roller to the side. Don't go anywhere. The next bit of exercise that you will be doing today, uh, the moment you have your bar, 
it's pretty simple. Now, I like to do um, isolation exercises sometimes, and that's exercises that hit one particular part of the body. But with this, this is such a bad boy that you could do a whole bunch of things with it. Now, this power bar right here has a spring in the middle, grips on both sides, and its motion is pretty simple. Like that, in and out. Now that might seem simple, but the best thing to do really is to take your time again with this one. You don't just bend it and then let it snap back up. Hold it, feel it. One, two, let it out. One, two. As you can see, my arms are shaking and that's primarily because in holding it in this position, you're straining your arms, you're working your chest and you're snapping it up. Now, one reason why I like the power bar is it doesn't just work your arms, it also works your chest muscles. Now, at the time when you squeeze it and hold it, there's gonna be that tension in your chest and then you let it out, okay? So for the power bar, you can simply do that. And the fun part about this is that you can do it while walking around, uh, you know, getting ready for work in the morning. If you brush your teeth already or you just got out of bed, you can take a few steps around your house. You know, like that, pretty easy, very simple. You're moving around, you're waking up, and you're getting your exercise in. For the power bar, there's a lot of things that you could do with it. Really, really fun stuff. If you want to ensure that your entire body is working out while your arms and your chest are involved in the game. You could do squats while working with your power bar. One. Two, three, four, pretty easy. Or you could do lunges while working with your power bar. It is such, it's such a conjunction. It takes in everything with it. Lunges and the power bar. You could hold it up. One, two, See, I'm having fun. I'm exercising my thighs. I'm exercising my calves. My chest is not left out of the program. And I'm getting fit at the same time. And all these exercises, I always advise that you put in maximum effort because you're supposed to get that body moving, right? It will probably be difficult at first. But trust me, a few weeks on this and it'll be totally worth your while. All right, guys, so that brings us to the end of today's episode. Two very simple exercises, equipment assisted, and they are functional. Trust me, everything from the ab roller to the power bar right here will help you to get that functional body. On next week's episode of the program, I'm going to be showing you some exercises that you can do that give you about the same results without the aid of these. But hey, our advice, get your copy now. Thank you very much until we see you on next week's episode of the show. My name is Steven. This is the Fat Show, getting you functional all in time for summer. Very big shout out goes out to Marie of the Marie Dance Academy for letting us shoot in her awesome studio. I'll see you next week, same time, same station. Get fit, people.